everyone, I'm Ken and welcome back to the Thrifty Apprentice Studio. In this video, we will be reviewing Reeves Watercolor 18 Tube 10 Milliliter Set. As most of you may or may not know, Reeves is the economical watercolor line produced by Windsor & Newton alongside their Cotman and Professional lines of paints. So, taking a look at the box, we can see that it's pretty run-of-the-mill. A color chart is printed on the back, but there are no color names, pigment numbers, or light fast information included. Um, there's a warning about Chinese white being harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects. And it lets us know that these paints are produced in China, although Reeves itself is headquartered in London, England. The tubes in this set are 10 milliliter plastic tubes with a screw on top. There is no foil covering the opening, as you can see with many other paints. Um, although the tubes do list color names, there is no light fast or pigment information included on those either. The colors included in this set are Chinese white, lemon yellow, medium yellow, orange, peach, brilliant red, crimson, phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, light green, sap green, viridian, violet, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, pangs gray, ivory black, burnt umber should have actually been there. Um, which basically gives you a cool and a warm version of each color. So now let's take a look at some swatches. This first one is the paints I swatched directly from the tube. Um, the first impression was that the paint was bright and brilliant um, and vibrant, yet still kind of transparent as you would expect, uh, expect a watercolor paint to be. The next set of swatches was actually a fun little painting as well. Um, I got the idea of painting my art supplies from several YouTube videos I watched, and I thought that it would give me a wonderful chance to play with the paints and see how they performed without taking myself too seriously. Um, first, um, I placed the paints out of the tubes into a palette and I let them dry down and you guys saw me using this on the previous video. And yes, I leave my palettes dirty because I go back and use that color later on. Uh, I don't know, I don't like wasting paints. Okay, and then I just drew a generic um, cake palette that you see all the time on like Amazon and other different websites. Um, this was probably the best I've done with these paints so far, um, simply because this project made it really fun and it made me feel good while I was doing it. All right, so let me show you guys a few other paintings. So here are some things that I did. Um, this is a couple of flowers. This is a insert that I'm gonna put inside a card that I'm gonna send off later on. And this one was done with the brilliant red and the crimson and um, a little of the sap green and yellow ochre. And I just kind of blended the colors into the background and then splattered paint, which I actually like doing as a stress reliever. <laughs> Here is a happy birthday card that I did um, with a set of flowers on it. And I actually glued one watercolor card down to another in order to make a one sheet card. And I just threw some pine trees in the background above the um, washi tape that I glued down on top of the panel. Um, and this one was more so just to see how the paints lifted to see if I could get highlights in um, with the paints. And this was another one that I actually enjoyed making and liked the way that it turned out. Now this one 
was done in the last video uploaded on the, on the channel. Um, this was done in the creating distance video. And um, I actually enjoyed this one as well. I like the way that it turned out and I enjoyed the mixing of the colors to sing the different um, shades that I can get mixed into the paints, gray and the black. So again, another mixing experiment basically with the Reeves. And this final one is another one that I did following a tutorial by Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. You guys hear me speak about her a lot on my channel. Um, that's because I think she is a wonderful teacher that makes learning fun. Um, and I'm hoping to follow in her footsteps one day. Hopefully I can make learning and the information that I relate to you guys just as fun on the res uh, for you to receive as she does for me to receive her information. Um, she's amazing. Go check her out if you get the chance. And that's Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. Um, Lord, as much as I talk about her in my videos, you guys are going to think I'm some I, I, I do some type of endorsements for her, but I really don't. Um, I just think she's a great teacher. Um, in this particular painting, I just really got to see what the Reeves could do from value to shading, lifting to layering, color mixing, um, to blending the way that they bled in the water once they were introduced into a wet background. Um, the wet on wet was really fun with these paints, honestly. Um, and the rocks, creating the rocks, it was all, this, this entire painting so I've really been enjoying using the reeds, if the truth be told. So I am actually going to, I was contemplating on doing a swatch test with you guys in this video. You know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to. Um, give me just a minute. I'm going to put all this to the side and we're going to come right back and we're going to actually swatch the paints out, um, out of the palette so that you guys can see a swatch test at least. Or maybe, and then maybe a little doodle data on the side so you can see how the paints really perform as we talk about price point and where you can purchase these paints at. So give me just a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. And um, on the little break, I went ahead and clipped my watercolor paper down to a cardboard bowl, a cardboard board, um, or a piece of cardboard, should I say. Um, and I took my Pris Prismacolor black alcohol marker and laid down two broad black lines and it's about time for me to replace these. Um, I think I'm going to get into some alcohol marker coloring, but that's going to be a horse of a different color for another day. So let's go ahead and swatch these out right quick. I'm going to... Start with the lemon yellow. And while we're doing this, we can talk about prices. Now, I have seen Reeves inside many different places. And I know you can source it online from many different places. Um, Amazon, Michaels, Joann's, Blick, um, I think you can get it on Cheap Joe's. Uh, there is at Office Depot. There's a lot of different places. Walmart. Now, the typical price point for the um, 10 milliliter tube sets, which tip, which can range in numbers from, I've seen eight to 18, can run you anywhere between 10 and twenty dollars depending on where you get it from but keep in mind most of the places that i named run specials on a very regular basis and or coupons and sometimes you can very seldomly couple them together but it happens so for the most part you can find the resets for under ten dollars for a good you know, quantity of them in the pack. Now, mine was the 18 tube set, which I picked up from Michaels, and they were $9.99, if I'm not mistaken, and I used a 40% off coupon. So, 
again, very affordable paints. As you can see, they are very bright and beautiful. I really enjoy using these. Now, we reviewed quite a few paints on this channel so far. And they've all been economical brands that are under $10. Um, we started out with uh, Royal and Lane Nickel. Then we reviewed uh, Royal and Lane Nickel Essentials. Then we reviewed De La Roni's Simply Line. Um, then we reviewed Artist Loft's Fundamentals Line. But I have to say, of all of those. These are my favorite. I mean, I just love what I see. I love what they allow me to create. The colors are just so rich. I, I mean, look at that. Look at how vibrant and beautiful they are. Uh, they lift well. They layer well. They actually blend really well, which we're gonna to get to see some of that in a moment. Now, I actually do not have the black or the white, which is included in the set, in this palette, so they won't actually be swatched, which I really hate I didn't do that, and I do apologize about that, guys. I should have, actually I do, wait, I do. I have the entire set here, I don't know. I'm losing my mind, <laughs> y'all look over me. It's so close to Christmas at this point, and I have got so much going on. Look at that. Now, that sap green actually is a little more non-earthy, should I say, than I'm used to seeing sap greens. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful color. And again, this is a set where I think the Viridian is not really Viridian. Nevertheless, beautiful colors. Pros about them. They are transparent and, vib and vibrant. Um, they mix really well. Um, it comes with a pain gray and a violet which makes it a great set, including black and white, which makes it a great set for a beginner who does not really know how to color mix or hasn't gotten the color mixing yet. They disperse well when you introduce them to a wet background. Um, so wet on wet works really well with them in my experience. This um, Sienna is really nice. I like that. So, I mean, again, of all the paints we've used, this is definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite. This would definitely be my recommendation over all the ones that we've used. Not that the ones that we used were terrible, but considering the fact that they're all in the same price point, you can pretty much get them all locally. Um, in most places, they're very accessible online. If you're gonna spend the money, you might as well get Reeves over the other brands we've reviewed. Now, I don't know where they are stand up against things that we're going to be reviewing, but of the ones that we've done so far, these are definitely my favorite, definitely my go-to, the ones that I reach for more than anything. Uh, those other brands, I'm just trying to go ahead and use them up in my scrapbook with scrapbook paintings. But these have been the ones that, oh, that's, I put a lot of black on that time, but that is so pretty. Even the black is pretty to me. Now, let's see if we can get some of this white out of here. And we'll get a chance to see just how opaque this white is. I mean, maybe not so much. I'll say it's semi-transparent white but there you have it guys the, there are the swatches um overall 
I think this is a brilliant brand. I can't rave about it enough for the price that you pay. Um, the paints are very pretty. You can see some, uh, for the most part, they are transparent. There are a couple of marks left on the black lines, but not many. Um, not enough for me to really just be, oh my God, about considering the fact that, again, I paid well under $10 for these paints and there was even after tax. Um, they blend really well and really beautifully. So, yes, I recommend it. These are definitely some paints, and especially with it being so close to Christmas. If you know um, an artist that's wanting to get started or you want to buy a nice gift for someone, I would really recommend these paints. Grab them a set of Reeves. I, hey, I don't know if the cakes or the pans are like the tubes, but I would like to think that they are. Grab them a set of Reeves. Grab them a watercolor, a pack of watercolor papers. Um, get them a nice pack. Get them a pack of B papers, uh, Aqua B. I mean, you can find them at most craft stores, and you can use a coupon on them so they won't be very expensive. But get them a pack of Aqua B paper and a, a nice pack of Reeves watercolors as a Christmas gift. I promise you they're going to love them. They're going to appreciate them. They're really going to be able to use them and enjoy them. All right, guys. So... That's going to be it for this video. I hope I didn't ramble on too long or that I didn't take up too much of your time. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell and subscribe. Go ahead and leave as many comments in the comment section as you would like to. Let me know what you thought of this video. Have you used the brand? Do you have the brand? Do you like the brand? Are you going to get this brand? Did you gift this brand? So much you can do with this brand. <laughs> okay, I'm being silly now. But um, head on over to the Facebook page. Like the Thrifty Apprentice Facebook page. And as always, remember, just keep painting. Just keep painting. Just keep painting. Just keep painting.